Hello, I am Pepino here, and as you can see, the sun is setting in Minecraft, and I'm going to go into my tiny little one-room house and get ready to go to bed. But first, what's this? It's an alarm clock. That's right, I have built an alarm clock in Minecraft that will tell me it will go off when the sun rises. So, once it becomes night, we are going to set the alarm clock. All right. Uh, so we look at it here. It says backwards is off. So the lever's backwards, it's off. Forwards is on. And that's what happens when it's on. So we're just going to have to wait for the sun to go all the way down. And then uh, we'll show you how this works. First, I will uh, show you how the alarm clock goes off, and then I will show you how to build it. All right, sun all the way down now. See, when the sun is down, the alarm clock will not go off, but now we're just going to wait, and when the sun comes back up, then we will hear our alarm clock waking us up. So I'll bring you guys back in about one Minecraft night. Okay, the sun is just starting to come up over the horizon. The moon is going down. And uh, we are in here. We are supposed to be sleeping so that our alarm clock will wake us up. Normally that's how it's done. But there we go. There is the alarm clock. Uh, we stayed up so that we could hear that. That is the alarm clock turning on just due to the fact that the sun has risen. All right, now we are going to learn how it's built. Okay, let's take a look at how this works. This is my little redstone experiment world, and this is the alarm clock. This, believe it or not, is actually able to sense whether or not it's day or night. It is a light sensor. Now, I did not invent this. I am nowhere near that smart or good with redstone. In fact, this is so complicated, I'm not even quite sure how to build it. I had to use a tutorial, and therefore I cannot explain to you how to build it because I would have to stop the video to check the tutorial every time and Basically, I don't think I should make a tutorial on something that I can't build. So, what I'm going to do is, in the description of this video, I will have a link to the video that taught me how to make this. The tutorial is by Ethoslab, and it is a very good tutorial. He explains it really well, step by step, so it becomes easy to build. But, uh, basically, what it does is... The grass down here, right, it will grow with light. And the grass growing and dying, see, at night it dies because of the low light level and being covered by water, the grass will die. But with the high light level, grass can grow under just a little bit of water. So when the sun comes out, the grass will grow back, which will affect a piston that you can't actually see right now. Oh, yep, it'll affect that piston, I believe. Uh and it will power this, which will power this, which will turn this off, therefore powering this, and that is on a continuous repeater using this piston, which will power these note blocks continuously. Now, the way you make the alarm clock uh, toggleable is using this. It goes through here, which basically uh, powers this off, which powers this on, but uh, or it affects it or whatever, which would normally it would be off during the day when the alarm clock is going off. This has to be off, okay? But turning it on will stop the alarm clock. So that is how you make it toggleable. All right, you would have to turn on this middle segment. So quick demonstration. Uh, we still got time. Let's place a torch here and hopefully 
the light will be enough to uh, make the sensor trick the sensor into thinking it's day maybe it's not oh yep it is all right so the light level changes we have simulated day by placing the torches there which inside your house has set off the alarm clock which you can then just turn off there is no snooze button haven't figured that one out yet but maybe in the future there will be so uh, Ethos Lab invented this uh, light sensor and you see there we go when it becomes night it won't go off uh, he invented the light sensor and I thought of a practical use for it so that is the Minecraft alarm clock so you just watch his tutorial then you connect it to here and run it through here uh, using these redstone torches on the blocks like this you can take it and make it power note blocks you have to make it so that it powers the note blocks and this piston right here during the day so when the light is on it it should power the note blocks and the piston which will start the repeater which will make the sound continuous then during the day you just have to turn off the alarm clock otherwise the sound will keep playing all day uh, the practical uses for this would be in case you're down in your basement or something or you don't have windows uh, you could build this like into your house I didn't build it into my house uh, just because I tested it before I built my house uh, but I'm sure you could come up with a design that could get this inside your house more efficiently uh, but then you could use it to know when the sun is coming up and when it's safe to go outside uh, so that is the redstone alarm clock that will actually go off at daytime basically to get the note blocks to play all the different sounds and not all go off at once all you gotta do uh, for those of you who don't know would just be set slightly different delays for each of the note blocks so they're just delayed a little bit differently like one tick of uh, difference in the delay will uh, change it up and then just you know whatever whatever tone you want you can make it play whatever you want you can probably add more note blocks uh, it's all up to you at that point whatever tone you want to wake up to in minecraft see there I changed it a little bit you can do whatever you want uh, but again that's not too difficult um, the only difficult part is the light sensor itself which again I will let uh, you watch Ethos Labs tutorial on that because uh, I feel like I shouldn't make a tutorial on something I can't do without having to watch a different tutorial uh, doesn't seem like it would be very good the light sensor also has a button on it to reverse it so you could if you wanted to make the uh, make the alarm clock play during the night and go off during the day or stop playing during the day so basically by setting it hitting this button you could set it to go off when it gets dark so this alarm clock will either alert you of the sun coming up or going down uh, whichever you choose but uh, mostly you use alarm clocks to let you know when the sun is coming up so that's what uh, I'm using it for but if you are nocturnal or a vampire or uh, whatever your reason may be you can use it uh, to detect nighttime as well this is I am Pepino looking down on top of my minecraft alarm clock saying thanks for watching uh, hope you learned something and maybe want to try this out in your world and remember to subscribe for more awesome videos and we'll see you next time also just a quick heads up ignore the uh, light sensor you have seen for the beginning of the video uh, I was having some problems with it and then I checked uh, Ethos Labs page and saw that he made an updated more efficient one 
uh, because there were a few minor technical difficulties that could occur with the first one. So the updated one is the video I will link in the description. So once again, this is Ian Pepino saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.